Drew here. I hope that you guys are ready to create. Today we are making a empty tomb Easter card because Easter is in just a few days. This project has two options. An easy option and it has super advanced hard mode. I hope that you guys grab your plain paper or notebook paper and something to color or draw with and follow along with this video. To start your Easter card, take your paper and fold your paper in half like a book. You're going to take your pen or your pencil and you're going to draw a big letter O in the bottom right corner of your paper. This letter O is going to be the stone at the entrance of the tomb. Next to the stone, we're going to draw <clears throat> a big lowercase letter N. I started my letter N at the top of the stone and I brought my letter N around to the side of the stone. So it kind of looks like, if you could imagine, the other part of my letter N over here in this corner. I'm going to connect the letter N to the stone with a straight line. This is going to represent the tomb that the disciples placed Jesus' body in before he rose from the dead. Now, we're going to draw another curvy line, or a large letter N, around the outside of this letter N. I'm matching my curvy line to this curvy line, and I'm stopping right when I get to this down. This is going to be the outside of the tomb. I'm going to connect the end of this line to the rest of my tomb with a straight line. Then I'm going to add a straight line all the way to the end of my paper and I'm also going to bring the straight line over here so it looks like the ground that way this is the ground so we have the tomb the stone that was in front of the tomb that the angels rolled away and behind it we're going to draw two hills the hills are also in the shape of curvy lines so I'm going to take my pen and I'm going to start at the top of the tomb and I'm going to draw a curvy line that goes all the way to the edge of my paper. That's going to be one of our hills. Then I'm going to draw a curvy line going the opposite direction. So I take my pen, start at the middle of my tomb, and draw a curvy line going in the opposite direction. So I have two hills behind the tomb. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to add the three crosses on the top of this hill to represent where Jesus was crucified before Easter. I'm going to draw a letter T for a cross, and I'm going to draw on top of the letter T to make the line thicker. Then next to the letter T, I'm going to draw two smaller letter T's to be the two other crosses. All right, at this point, you could stop here and that would be easy mode. For my Easter card, for easy mode Easter card, if you are looking for a simple card, I would stop here. You could write the words, Jesus is alive. If you want to pause the video now so you can see how I wrote, Jesus is alive, on the front of my Easter card, you're welcome to do that now. But if you're in the mood for a challenge, I invite you to take a look at my hard mode Easter card. If you're ready to start a hard mode Easter card and add some more detail to your Easter card, keep watching the video and I'll show you how I made this card. You're going to draw another curved line in the middle of your hills. This is going to be our sunrise. I'm going to take my pen and I'm going to find the middle of this hill and I'm going to draw a curvy line, kind of looks like another lowercase letter n, and I'm going to stop at the other hill. This is going to represent our sun. Coming out from the sun, we're going to draw some diagonal lines. So I'm starting at the top of my sun, and I'm going to draw a diagonal line all the way to the edge of my paper. I move my pen, and I draw another diagonal line. These are my sun rays. I'm going to keep drawing diagonal lines coming out of my sun, until I get to the end of my paper. Awesome, you did it! The next step is to add the um, in, inner part of the tomb where they laid Jesus' body. So I'm going to draw a rectangle at the bottom of the tomb and 
Then underneath the rectangle, I'm going to draw a straight line connecting it to the bottom of the ground. Since Jesus rose from the dead, there's no need to draw anything in this tomb because it's empty. If you have gotten this far, it's time to decorate the inside of your Easter card. On the inside of your Easter card, there's a ton of options for things you could write. You could write, Jesus is alive. Or you could write, Happy Easter. This is a card for your mom and dad, or for your sister, or brother, or grandma. You might want to also put your name, so you might want to say, love. And then you're going to want to write your name underneath so that they know it's from you. Now that you've finished your card, it's time to add color. If you have markers or crayons, this is your time to decorate your card. I'm gonna show you both of my cards. If you wanna pause the video to see how I colored my cards, you're more than welcome to. I have easy mode and I have hard mode here. Inside of my hard mode card, you can see where I decorated the inside of my card with marker. And on the inside, I wrote Happy Easter. These cards are going to really make a great gift for my family and definitely bring them some joy this Easter Sunday. I hope you guys had a fun time making this card. Have a happy Easter.